Hello everybody. I've been playing with UB Tech Intermediate Kit for a little bit and I thought I'd share some of the things that I like about it. Um, here is the main control box, the main control board. It has the microcontroller inside of it obviously. Um, on it are some places where you can attach parts. Now you can also attach via these pins holes that have pins in them so that's an infrared sensor it should be, be nicer I stick point it up um, there are five three pin ports four five there is a six port which is a four pin which there's nothing in the intermediate kit that needs six pins there's the charging port there is the switch which is that puppy which I stuck on over there and then an expansion port, which they haven't done anything with yet. Um, one of the nice things about this is it doesn't matter which port you plug things into. Because the software, the hardware, just read it and say, hey, there's an infrared sensor there. It knows where to send the code to. Speaking of plugging things in, all devices have two ports on them. As you can see, there's two wires coming out of here. That's because there are two ports. Devices also have numbers or names on them. This is Servo 2. And um, this is Servo 1, I think. They all have that to identify them. But the reason they have two ports on them is so you can daisy chain them. That means I can just plug one into the other one. So again, it doesn't matter which port I plug this into. I can do this. And then I'm going to attach it. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Now you do have to be careful that maybe that wire is going to get pinched. Hopefully not. And then I'm going to attach my other servo. Uh, which way? Let's try this way. Nope, they're uneven. So let's go this way. Ta-da! And then I can just plug one into the other. I probably needed a shorter cable here. Speaking of which, they have three length cables, which is nice. Um, again, the idea of daisy chaining, plug one in the other, the software, the hardware understands that I've got servo one and servo two there, doesn't care how they're plugged in. Um, it's also nice when you get farther away in your build from the box, that you don't have to keep trying to have all these long cables to there. So, there are some things about that. Now, you code it with an app. Uh, let's get to home. The app is good for both the beginner kit and the intermediate kit. And they have models for us to get started. And in these models, this one has 15. They can have lots of steps to them. Like this one has 156 steps to build. And that's what you're going to build. Now you can hide that. And you can just step through. Okay, I need this. I need that. Oh, yeah. What do I need? Well, they give you a parts list. That's nice. Um, and I need that. I need that. Uh, you can, you know, you could scroll through basically. See how things are going together. Step forward. Step backward. And when you're done, you hit the check and say, yeah, I want to start coding. And when the models, if you're going from the models, they have some sample codes. Now, that does mean you have to use the exact parts they say. Like the kit comes with first four servos. You have to put servo one and two in there because that's what the code says. Now, obviously, you can change that. But they want to be safe. So they uh, will tell you, you have the wrong servo on here. Model's not correct if you don't put servo one and two on there. Just letting you know. And then when you're ready to do the code, you got a Bluetooth to the device because it's going to, let's see if my device has any charge on it. It might not, I haven't used it. It in the last week, I don't know, charges it. It's gonna search and find all the parts that are on it. But I didn't charge mine before I did this. That was silly of me. Um, you don't have to use their code. Let's go back and then let's go let's create a new project. Now we're just talking, you know, your basic block coding. 
So there's some of the nice things about the UV Tech Intermediate Kit. Enjoy.